Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel <laughs> and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit I am hot 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 okay <laughs> like literally hot oh my gosh people I know I keep saying it's over a hundred but it is over a hundred which you know in a way is typical for the high desert but for some reason, it seems different. Like in the last few years, California's just become kind of humid, which it never was before. I know other people have noticed that, um, but whatever the case is, I am very proud of myself. I got out there and it's, it's really actually about 107 right now, but I got out there, I mucked the horse stalls that needed to be mucked fed the horses and then there's another thing because we're still trying to fatten them up they're all rescued right and so we do these buckets and they're like gotta think about that i think they're 12 i want to say 12 gallons but 12 times 8 is 72 right uh, okay maybe they're eight gallon buckets probably eight gallon buckets Eight times eight is 64, right? Oh, guy, eight times 12, I'm losing my mind. That's 96. Oh yeah, they're not 12. <laughs> okay, let's go with eight gallon buckets and a gallon is 8.4 and 12 times eight is 72. And I usually put in more like six. So yeah, they're super heavy, but whatever the case was, um, every other day we try and give them a bunch of fatty things like rice pellets and this combination which smells amazing because it definitely has licorice in there and I'm a licorice girl so it's got some black licorice and fun stuff in there and um you know it's just a variety of stuff but to try and help them put on weight and my husband was like it is way too hot you do not need to do it just let it go we'll do it tomorrow I did not compromise <laughs> I went out there and I put those together and I filled them and I heaved them over to each of the horses and they were thrilled, of course. I am so bummed. You know how I've been growing those plum cherries? Well, sponsored by God, but out on my porch. I've been waiting for them, okay? But in this heat, it accelerated somehow. The wind came up and all of a sudden there were like 150 of them all over the driveway. Some of them smashed, some half eaten, like seriously, the ground squirrels, the rabbits went for broke and the ones hanging on the tree were all scrunchy like a raisin. <laughs> like they dried out in this heat wave and we are on like day seven of our heat wave. I was so sad. I guess I could think of them as raisins and just pull them anyway. <laughs> but it's really interesting because last year it was kind of by the end of March that they came ready. And now we're already at the end of June. I've totally been waiting. This heat wave seems to have devastated the crop. Um, but it's just a really small window, you know? And I just thought I looked really forward to it. Tomorrow morning when it's calm and I'm calm and not melting, I'm going to go out there and reassess <laughs> in case I can find any. I'm pausing because I was in desperate need of cold water. Anyway, um, that's all. I just kind of, kind of wanted to say hey and <laughs> give you an update. God, you know what? It's so sad. Okay, first of all, shout out to Father's Day. Happy Father's Day for those of you who are celebrating yourself. Yay. Uh, perfectly imperfect, right? For those of you who still have your fathers, I hope you were able to celebrate them in some way. You know, to reach out in some way, it, it's so interesting. A lot of people have conflict with their parents, but I always remind people, as it was reminded with me, that our parents are by God's design. There's no doubt that we came through them into this realm, and that was by God's design, as difficult as it may be. So I always encourage people to find just one thing. There's got to be one thing that you can still appreciate about your parent if nothing else, that they allowed you to come here, you know, by virtue of being born. So I pray for your grace if you're hurting regarding your parents. And if you had a chance, yay. My father left to the heavenly realm uh, back in 2008. So September 8th, 2008. And Dale's father's still here. He's going to be nine, I mean, forgive me, 87 uh, in two months. And so we were happy to call and celebrate him, which was great. 
And of course, cheers to all my brothers and just all those dads that I've encountered and people who have been a dad to me. Um, really, I try to think about that. There's been some very kind men in my life. There's been less than kind men in my life that I still have the grace to pray for, though protect myself from, all right? <laughs> are you guys getting that? I think you are. All right. So regarding my dog, Mercy, that died, and we're so sorry that she died, but I just want to explain. We actually got her when she was three months old. I was on a field trip around the neighborhood at one of my schools, meaning it was actually a walking field trip of about a mile and a half. And um, there was this funny little cocker spaniel in the yard and I was like oh my gosh I am taking you home and I went and talked to the family and it worked out they uh I think they were really a puppy mill to be fair and they only spoke Spanish and they had fake papers for her and I could tell she was neglected and I called Dale and said oh my gosh I just found this little cocker can we take her home and I think at the time we had I guess we had four dogs at the time and she was going to be number five and then little poppy was number six and then finally we got mercy and the other kids that we have right now so <coughs> freckles and cena and snowbell and um it's just weird having only three dogs right because six of them have left the planet in the last four years and four months Wow, wow, wow. But, I mean, we do have four horses, and we've only lost one horse, praise God. And we have one pig, which is fine, and one bird. And those were just all, everybody needed a home, and we said yes. We even moved from the beach to the high desert to say yes, 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 right? Um, So, I'm very grateful to God for the time that we had Mercy. She was just a joy, just a funny puppy, a sweet little girl. She would kick butt and take names when she was upset though, okay? That was not a pushover. <laughs> but the sad thing is right now is that, okay, when we took Indy to the doctor, we had no intention of putting him down. Um, but they took x-rays and we saw he had a ton of, uh, you know, cancer and there was no way that we could keep him. And so we didn't come back with him and all the kids were very confused and I didn't know how to explain it. Well, I had no intention of doing that again to them. And all of a sudden, it's only been a couple of months, and we took Mercy, and she didn't come back. And Freeway, who's the youngest, we think. I mean, we found him on the freeway, but based on his teeth, they thought he was very young. Um, freeway is really struggling. Freeway and Mercy were inseparable. They really were. And, and when I'm taking the kids outside to go potty, Freeway is waiting at the door. Like, okay, is Mercy coming? Like, where's Mercy? And, and granted, she was older, and sometimes she would be late to go out. But I keep trying to explain she's not there and he's so upset that he has diarrhea right now. Like he's just so stressed out and I don't know how to explain it. I mean, God has to explain it, but I'm just loving them and loving on them. And Cena has her little hood on and she's doing okay with that. And you know, Snowbell, if you know her story at all, I mean, she's blind in one eye from being attacked and her trachea is, uh, still damaged but she's the oldest kid right now she, she's gonna be 15 in october and you know she's hanging but it's a sad little time over here we, we rejoice and we thank god and and i'm not even suggesting that we want more animals right to try and make up for these ones no i mean you love as you love and, and replacements don't work they're just more love right no i want to appreciate the kids we have in this moment but it's a difficult time right now. And I know a lot of people are, are, you know, struggling with missing their dads today too. And sometimes I just get tired of it. You know, it's such commercialism. Have you ever gone to the calendar and put in um, like either celebrations or holidays by the year or something like that? There is anywhere, and this is just in America and maybe just in this region, but there is literally anywhere from six to 20 allotted holiday slash celebrations for every day of the year. And I just think it's really hard sometimes, you know, because yes, we should honor ourselves every day, 
and we should love completely every day. But a lot of it's commercialism, right? It allows them to sell a lot of cards. It allows them to sell a lot of meals and restaurants and things. And it allows them to provoke a lot of guilt. And, you know, it's all made up. Time is made up by humans, right? We created a clock. We created time. I mean, I don't know if that's completely true because God did say on the first day, on the second day, on the third day. So did God create our time? seems very human to have stopwatches and second watches and milliseconds like so maybe even if God implied that there was a week of time humans took that week and broke it into 24 hours and broke those hours into 60 minutes and broke those 60 minutes into you know 60 seconds and and just like intensified it the way we tend to do like we're never content to just rejoice or enjoy or just look at or except the simplicity it's always more and more and more right and, and I, maybe I'm generalizing but that's certainly my experience excuse me I am dying of thirst I love water I love tea such a blessing all right and I was proud of myself because we went to this um, memorial yesterday and on the way, everybody went to Starbucks and they all wanted to get drinks. And I said, water. And they were like, well, that's so boring. Can't you get a drink? Didn't you ever get anything? And they actually had just regular lemon ginger, um, you know, herbal tea, which I love anyway. And that kind of seemed like fun. So I got that on ice, you know, and it was really fantastic. And uh, today, again, everyone was going to Starbucks. Praise God, coffee has never been my thing. <laughs> Thank you, God. And they got treats and this. And are you going to be boring again and just get water? Yeah, I actually am. Because water isn't boring to me. It's life-giving and I rejoice to no end. So I did enjoy some cold water. I just, there's nothing more satiating to me than distilled water. What? Yes. Herbal tea. That's a yes. <laughs> All right, my friends, I'm going to keep cooling down. I've got homework to do, but I wanted to just check in and give a little overview of my day. And I'm praying for my father. God bless you, Dad. We miss you so much. And my brother, Patrick, who has four kids, and and now he has uh, four grandkids. And God bless you, too, Patrick. You're missed. And, you know, just for the grace of dads. And I know it's not always easy. I still get that. But for those who miss theirs, who are in heaven, peace be with you. For those who don't have the grace to communicate with theirs for whatever reason, might you just have the grace to say a prayer for them? You know, I'll say, God, please bless this person because no way can I. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not going there, but you're bigger. Please bless them. Like, I, I at least have the grace to do that, right? I think almost all of my perpetrators are dead. Except for some female ones, but... That was just weird anyway. And the idiot who raped me, he's not dead. All right, anyway, love you guys. I hope you had a great day. I will catch you again. Like if you like journeys, if you haven't subscribed, let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And until we talk again, best of all, know that you're blessed.